CM Punk showed up at the Raw show and he He's went in. Good. You know, he he like, apparently he flew from from Florida to um, Chicago on a flight with a lot of talent. Yeah. Yeah. And he showed up and he went in and talked to some people for a while. I would say talk, probably talk, about 20, 25 minutes. Talked to Paul Levesque. That was the main guy he talked to. Hmm. And then uh, he was asked to leave. Yep. What is going on here? Well, if I, you know, if I if I say what I think, I'll be as reckless as all the people who say what they say about us. So I'm not going to say anything. I, we all have our theories, and uh, you know, whatever. Um, you know, I mean, I throw my theory, theory past a bunch of people today, including you, and every one of them said that, and including people who know him very well, but much better than I do, and they all said you you were spot on. So. Uh, my theory is is that uh, I was spot on. <laughs> he's well, got, he's he's he did what he did, and it's not it's not really a surprise, you know. Whether it's um, you know, I mean, I, I'm I'm sure he has his. Well, way. people were very surprised. I mean, Pe people were very surprised on both. People were very people. surprised in AEW. They were very surprised in WWE. Very surprised in WWE. Yeah, 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 and. and um, the feeling in WWE, you know, was that he was there because he wanted back. Whether that's true or not, I have no idea. I mean, we obviously, you know, there were talks of him going back um, shortly, you know, like whatever it was around, you know, later, late last year. But, I mean, he couldn't go because he was still under contract. So, um, and my impression is, is that, um, you know, this was with Paul Levesque in charge and not Vince. And, um, you know. My impression was is that they didn't have any interest in him at that time, um, so whatever. But um, you know, now he's you know, I mean, was it a publicity stunt for him to get publicity? Was it what I what, I mean, I don't know. You'd have to ask him what what his reasons were. Obviously, you know, the announcement of him coming back to AEW in theory was going to be any time now. You know, the announcement that the new TV show would be any time now. So I'm sure it all ties together in some way and he'll have to figure out, you know, I mean, if he wants to say what his motives were, you know, what his reasons were, you know, he can say it. Um, but I, you know, obviously all of those things, you know, the timing of everything is suspicious, you know, just because let's face it, you know, I mean, WWE has been, you know, doing shows for, many, many, many years since he left the company and choosing to go there uh, right before the announcement that AEW was going to make for whatever reason, um, I'm sure there's a reason in his head why he did that. I mean, it wasn't just, I mean, it's not like he was walking down the street. No, you know, and, um, you know, it is interesting, too, because a lot of people, a lot of people pointed out to me today about, you know, the the entire thing that started all all of this, the balls rolling, which is the fallout with, of CM Punk and Colt Cabana, came because Colt Cabana went and visited some of his friends that were at, um, I don't know if remember it was NXT or, or WWE, but they were friends of his, you know, very good friends of his from the indie scene that he went to visit at a show while the lawsuit was going on and, and Punk was furious at him for doing that. Well, I mean... Uh... It happened, and we've heard nothing, like nothing beyond him leaving. I guess he went on Instagram and was tweeting about the NHL or something like that. I guess that well, he's, he's, a, he's, he's, a legit, he's a legit hockey fan. Yeah, but... Um, so we'll have to wait and see. I mean, like, uh, that big announcement uh, could be Wednesday. I mean, so certainly there's something that's going to be announced on Wednesday. Um, I know Andrew Zarian reported that... Um, the show, the Saturday night show, is going to be on TNT. I mean, I knew, I knew Saturday 8 to 10. I did not know the network it was going to be on. I didn't know if it was going to be TNT, True TV, or TBS. And um, he reported TNT. I have not got that confirmed from anyone else. You know, in AEW, nobody is acknowledging that it exists, other than people who are acknowledging it exists, so to speak. But officially... Nobody is acknowledging officially that the show is occurring. 
Although the belief there is that it is occurring. I mean, people, there are people that are talking about it as if it's well, a I mean, done it's, deal it's, that it's it's, I mean, people have to know because the the deal is, is that a lot of the talent's going to be, you know, staying on Wednesday and a lot's going to be staying on Saturday. And the other aspect of it is that, um, you know, I mean, a lot of talent is unhappy about Punk being back. And so they've been told you don't have to worry about it because... He's going to be on one show and you're going to be on another show, but they're still unhappy. So, you know, um, that's, you know, that's going to be whatever it's going to be. You know, it's going to, you know, we'll six months from now be very interesting. It just feels like uh, it just feels like there's going to be stuff happening on a weekly basis. It's like the Vince McMahon thing. It's like every week there's something, you know, uh, Vince changed a bunch of stuff at TV tonight, too. Yeah. I uh, changed a couple matches.